All right, it's another day. Why does every video start with it's another day? And why is it always another day? So mistakes were made. This is just me testing the flow of the skirt thingy, but I'm thinking it needs to be sideways. Anyways, okay, let me get into it. I tested this out as you can see. I kind of wish I had interfacing. I might have some. I just didn't know if I wanted to use it. But here's the thing. I totally forgot that I actually really wanted to have this lace overlaying this particular thing. And underneath it's like sparkly. You can kind of see the sparkles. And I was going to baste this fabric after cutting it. And then I was going to sew them together so that it is flush with the whole thing not like separate where I have to tie it around and somehow figure it out and whatnot because that is not the look I was going for but then I was also like testing out the curtain that I'm going to use as a skirt I call it a curtain because it's technically a curtain so this is going to be the white version of the black dress I had first made I have a video on that I think I might just cut out new ones because I still have enough fabric left and I could technically use this for a different dress if I wanted because I still have to line it and I didn't like do that either and I have to like iron it because it's like kind of wrinkly so now that I think about it I can perfect this next one and I can still I can cut another set of this material here at least I know that it worked out this one actually curves down like that and that's kind of what I was going for so this is a white version of the black dress right so I actually will be using this trim on the top I actually really love this okay and also just recutting will, will make me feel better about making sure that all of this looks nice and I might even try to use the interfacing I have just because I'm really happy and excited about this particular design. It looks very kind of like, like snow princess like for some reason but yeah it has the princess cut and then we're gonna have this going all the way around to the back just like the black dress and then I'm probably gonna put like a spaghetti strap on it like the black dress but it might also be an optional spaghetti strap. It's like I'm, I'm gonna do a way better job than I did on the black one. The skirt will have that and then I still have to buy lining for this which I'll probably just look for a white sheet i mean the last one i created with bed sheets and a curtain and i thought it came out great so i don't think it matters now some odd time later i have the cutouts of the pattern pieces well what's going on with my hair oh i have a clip i don't even know anymore we're gonna sew these together i was debating if i wanted to do interfacing i've never actually used it but okay i'm just gonna be honest there's a lot of steps that it told like the directions on how to use this particular kind that i had gotten like a while back i mean we're talking like like a lot of steps <laughs> okay well first it's like and I was like, what? Girl, like, I'm freaking making this out of curtains and some random scrap piece at Joanne. I was like, you know what? Let's just save this for another day, for another time, because right now I'm really just concerned about getting my designs made, not so much as making it like perfect and sellable at the moment. I'm the type of person who does not like to waste anything. I even saved so many of my scraps. For example, this piece is in the trash and I'm like, but what if I need something as small as that? Like, what about creating buttons? Which I don't create buttons, but it's like, that's where my brain goes. And so it's hard to throw things away. And I'm just, I've just always been like that because I'm very frugal. I make the most out of everything and I'm cheap as heck, which is kind of the same thing, I guess. I've also been talking for way too much. So I think we should just get back into the project. <music> don't know what happened as I was putting the liner in which you can kind of tell maybe what possibly happened here that's for sure after I ironed it and everything I put it on and lined it up and literally like nothing was lining up get that extra space there I sewed it down I used it to create boning channels but you can see how the material is just gathering this lining that I chose was a horrible choice I tried to change the tension but it just came out horrible I mean literally even on the other side I'm not sure how I'm gonna cover that up but I figured we would figure it out. It's just like that's the seam allowance for the skirt. 
like that. So the skirt will go like that and that piece would be showing. But I'm at a point where I'm like, screw it, I don't even care. It's the inside, we'll figure it out. It's whatever, all that matters is what the outside looks like because I don't plan on selling this dress. I plan on using it for my portfolio, you know. I can always pick better material next time I do this if it turns into a dress that I would want to actually create again and sell it. Who cares now, you know, who cares? It's a little difficult because I'm adding this lace in, but it's like once I got the lace on, I thought that looks great. Like I thought I actually did a great job and now I just feel like it's gonna be all wrinkly and stuff. So I'm hoping that the boning might actually save the day and straighten it out. <sighs> I don't know though. On the original black dress, I mean, it's in a video, but I did like the crappiest boning ever. And I just like glued it on. I used fabric glue though, so I mean, it wasn't like I just used Elmer's glue. <laughs> but this time I'm gonna do zip ties. I'm just not gonna worry about the weird lining issue. Like the, I'm convinced that when I iron this fabric, it shrunk. I, I wish that I ironed it before cutting it out. I kind of thought I did, but I guess I didn't. Let's finish this bodice. Something just occurred to me as I was thinking, okay, I can probably sew the top and then flip the lining over. Am I an idiot? How would I do that if I sewed this on? And that's when it also occurred to me that I have a chance now to cut out yet another layer, which is fine because the thicker the top, the more sturdy, right? I just can't believe, you know, you live and you learn, like I'm learning as I go. But the reason I didn't do it in the first place is because I was thinking to myself, I want the channels that go up to just be like a clean fold over instead of folding it over and then channeling it that way because then it would end weird. I don't know if that makes sense, but <sighs> we are here living our best life. All is well. It's funny because I thought making this dress would be like a great opportunity to really apply everything I learned and to fix all the mistakes I made on pre previous dresses. But as usual, I go and try something new and it doesn't work out the way I thought it would or should, but it's fine. I think all that matters right now, just looking at it, I feel like once there's boning in it, if we were to throw it in here, should fit perfectly. This one would need to be shaped for the bust. My other option is to do facing. The question is, do I want to do that? I honestly just feel like the best bet is honestly just making one more layer of liner, which sucks because that means I have to sew these same pieces for like the, how many times have I done it? The mistake one I did, plus the actual one I did, plus the liner that I just sewed together the wrong way. That's already three times, which means I have to do this a fourth time how many days have I been working on this? Granted, like, I have to work around the schedule of my husband and baby. I don't even know how long I've been at this. I think it's the third day. This is it on. It's not as wrinkly as I imagined. However, I do notice that the cuffs feel a little bit chunky. Like the material just kind of got bunched together. I really don't want to seam rip. But anyway, we're gonna throw this in there. Yeah, that's not really shaped, is it? just kind of opens up a little bit. I think what's irritating me right now, the gathering is, ouch, I always get poked. I forget where I put pins sometimes. It's funny, I can hear the baby and I'm always just like, is he paying attention to the baby? Why is my hair in my sweater? I literally found these zip ties like on our property in this box. So anyway, here is the look. It doesn't look too bad now that I did that, except for whatever's going on here. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good actually, but this side looks way better than this side. Okay, I don't know if I ruined it, saved it, or made no difference, but I clipped down this facing that I did. Okay, look, I didn't do the best, okay? This middle part is really messed up. I clipped it down to kind of put them in place. This should be the thumbnail. Just kidding. I might have ruined it. I don't know. I think that's the best we're gonna get because your girl does not want to do another liner when I literally only have that fabric and I don't want the same thing to happen again. I've never done facing before. I just saw literally one video of it. I was like, what's facing? And I like looked it up. So I basically did it from one video I watched a few days ago. I kind of just winged it really fast. I surged instead of folded in because I'm lazy. And also I love surging things because who wouldn't? If you surge something, you know what I mean. 
I mean, everything is looking great except for this middle part. So I cut it, as you could see, just to release that tension. And I realized I'm just gonna have to unsew that whole middle part, try to just hide the facing and just pretend it never happened because technically it wasn't supposed to be like this. Sorted it all out though, besides that part. The edges look pretty nice. Oh my gosh, I just realized it's super tight in there because of this. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to undo the middle and pretend that never happened. I think the middle is just pulling it all together and it shouldn't do that. Okay, we're gonna seam rip it. So I basically completely wasted so much time on a bodice, which is actually that white one right there, using the pattern I thought was great up until I had someone try it on and learned that since I shaped it to this dress form behind me, the red one, I basically shaped it to something that was gonna cause an issue. Today we're going to be starting over. I'm going to copy the pattern to this particular dress that is actually my friend's dress that I had copied the pattern for my black dress back when I made my very first dress out of a bed sheet and curtain. I don't know, it's kind of cool to say that I'm going to almost do the same method. <laughs> but I will say that the sizing they do around here clearly works out for a dress and the stuff that I did didn't. We're starting over, but that's okay because I want this white dress to be something someone can wear and I happen to have enough material left. I have plenty of of it and I also have enough of this. This is the test I did. For some reason, I just feel like this dress form, I'm sick and tired of it. It's been great, probably useful for other things, just not dresses. The only issue that I have at the moment is that because I picked stretchy material, I'm hoping it's a little bit accurate. I'm gonna try not to stretch it too much. I noticed though that the tops seem kind of loose. It just for some reason looks like a tiny little chest. I don't know why. I know she has a small chest, but it just looks I don't know. I really learned throughout this process that I really badly want the professional dress form and I saw that it's $389 so I told my husband when we have that much money to spare, <laughs> I told him to remember that's how much it is and that's what I want and the second we can afford that you let me know. A little part of me wants to create something in my size just for the sake of having a person but like I'm just dealing with my new mom body. Also like what is going on I'm not trying to be down on myself at all. I don't want to just like be lazy and do nothing. Like I would love to work on my body and go back to what I was doing before pregnancy, which I was like eating healthy and I loved doing weight training. Like I was really enjoying that. So I'm just at a place where I just don't really want to make a dress according to my size because I'm just, I don't know. And also I keep wearing this extremely oversized sweater for me. It's definitely not my size, but me and my sister got matching ones for a dollar at Walmart and it's size one X and we're just like, it's a dollar. All right, so it's another day, another attempt, and we're finally at a point where I feel okay now. I have it all laid out right there. I'm about to cut all the pieces and then sew them together just like I did the other white one, but this time it's gonna be fitted like that one, which I'm actually happier about. Okay, we are back another day. It's been a bit of a break because of Thanksgiving. I have no idea why my hair is being the way it is. It's literally in like the biggest tangle ever, and I'm scared because I'm having postpartum hair loss. Every Every time I try to undo tangles, I lose so much hair and it's really annoying. So there's the piece after sewing all of them together. I think it's honestly, I think the fit is as good as it's gonna get. It just needs a little bit of structure. This is not on. I'm just obviously just testing it out because that's how I want it to be, the trim. It's gonna mimic the black dress and then the skirt material is all right here. I need help. I have no idea why I did that. We went to Goodwill. I wanted to do a really quick random in the middle of the video haul of my Goodwill because I got more than I needed. So I went and looked for a bed sheet because I literally used a bed sheet for the black dress and I was gonna buy a bed sheet for white and I don't know why I just never did. Two years later, here we are. Maybe not two years, but moving on. I have two bags to go through. I did find a white sheet. This sheet that I found looks fairly thin, which is what I was going for. It's a basic sheet. It was on sale for 50% off. I went for five, but I bought it for 250. 
I just love cheap things. And then I got a backup, another one. I'm so proud of this one. Basic cotton fabric. Easy to work with. It's nine yards. Now I've seen this like two separate times at Goodwill. One of them I kind of wanted, but it was actually a lot. And there was like nine yards of it, but it was $9, which is really cheap, really good deal. But I was like on a super, super tight budget that I thought, well, I can survive without this. It just bums me out because you never know what you're going to find at Goodwill. If you don't get it, you can miss out. But it's $9, which is a good deal. But it was $9, considering that makes it a dollar a yard. However, I was being cheap every single time where I'm like, ah, I don't really need it. I can survive without this. So why add nine dollars to my total? Like I just kept saying no to it. If you don't get it, you can miss out. But I kept wanting to say yes. Well, look what color it was. Red. Meaning instead of nine, I paid four fifty for nine yards of this cotton fabric. If you don't get it, you can miss out. Which I'm very proud of. This was not on sale, but I actually really like the style of this dress. And I love these kind of sleeves. I also got this one because this is a very pretty fabric. And I wanted this dress for the shop. It's a size 8. It might actually fit me, to be honest. I don't know. Something to learn from. Like, I always just kind of see how they do it. Oh, it's really interesting to see how they do this part. Because it looks like they serge it together. Super cute little dress. And then last in this bag is this. Which is, like, brand new. Like, that goes over stuff. I should not be putting this over this big sweater. I think you look great. Okay, I don't know how to take it off. So I found this because it was 50% off. It was only $2. And I was just like, that could be a fun dress. I mean, maybe a summer dress. I don't know. I got this one, another sheet. This one was $3 because it was 50% off. It's like a nice salmon pink, I guess. Lastly, I got this, which is a king size. So it's a lot of fabric material. And this one was $7, but 50% off as well, making it $3.50. That is the random haul. I like just knowing that I can make something from a sheet or something like that and save money while I'm learning. So I get really excited to find bed sheets. And curtains are perfect for like delicate things because a lot of curtains are sheer and some curtains are just like have really beautiful designs that I could see as a dress. So I mean... Okay, let's get back to the dress. All right, it's another day because I really get any work done some days. We're back in the sewing room. We're where we left off, which is like nowhere. But I have the liner cut out. So we're gonna sew that now. So the lining I got, and I tried to iron it, but it's kind of difficult to iron because of the shape. I put some zip ties in it. So these are the zip ties I have. They're actually not long enough for the middle, so I'm actually going to go check Walmart to see if they have longer ones. I don't have the sew-on kind. I have to use zip ties. As for the outer piece, I just finished top stitching next to the seam, very close together. If you look closely, you will see the stitch. Oh my gosh, my nails are disgusting. Okay, let's not look at them. It's very hard to tell, but if you zoom out here, <laughs> you can kind of see it has a little bit of a line now i'm going to pin it down and then sew the top oh he's mad yeah. you're mad you want out of your chair now but it's still dance time <laughs> you're mad and happy at the same time <laughs> you ready to get out of your chair or are you still dancing? <laughs> you still dancing? <laughs> oh my gosh, I look horrible. Okay, hi, it's another day. It's always another day. When is it? the same day when I change videos. So the skirt, I have made progress. We have lining and it is kind of gathered, but I ended up adding, you can see the train. I might do a little bit of adjustments to it. I'm not really sure. Down here is this long, and I mean very long, like you could see it bundled up here. And that's just me trying to flatten it out. Very long scarf curtain. Scarf curtains are probably my favorite to find when I go thrifting because they come with so much material, but it's always very beautiful material. Material, hence why there's scarf curtains because they drape very well. My point is, is it is very flowy and it's like, okay, look what I just did. <laughs> I just knocked my trash can over. 
What is life? It's very like, you can kind of tell the way I hold it, the way it moves. Very flowy, very soft, very beautiful to be honest. I totally forgot that a long time ago when I got it, which it probably was early in 2020, it was like a random thrift store in town, which I really want to go to again. So I found it there and I was like, oh, I'm going to use this for the white version of the black dress. And I forgot that that's technically what this was for. I decided to nix the other curtains, which are actually, okay, ignore the polar pop. I decided, okay, I'll just use those for another dress. It's totally fine. And now I'm going to see how much skirt I can cut because a scarf, unfortunately, as much as I love the material, comes in a long strip. It's very hard to cut out any type of circle skirt with it without making panels. And I don't really like sewing together panels on this type of material, but it looks like that's my only choice because even laying this down like that's two layers but they're like not folded at all all right i am sewing the skirt pieces together i made a mistake and i'm just gonna ignore it and pretend like it didn't happen when i was cutting one of these panels out so one goes towards the train and i was gonna do a middle one that just continues the train and then the other one adds it all up to the shorter front of the dress while i was cutting that middle part I accidentally cut through the one under it and it was a little bit wider than the top i don't know if this makes sense I'd show you, but it's kind of a disaster right now while I'm sewing. Why does this video look weird? What is going on? Okay, that was so weird. This is what I mean. This panel got cut into accidentally as they were layered, and now we have this issue. And I decided I'm going to pretend like it's not an issue because it's going to be all gathered up. Let there be a hole. I don't know what else to do. Thought about fabric, liquid stitch. I was like, why not? Let's go for it. But I don't want, I don't know, how, I don't know what to do. What do I do? I'm so confused. I might just go ahead and stitch it, honestly. It'll be fine. So we're just gonna do that. We're gonna hope that no one notices. All right, it's another day. Why does every video start with it's another day? And why is it always another day? Also, ow, my scalp hurts. My acne is like really bad. <laughs> my voice sounds really bad. I'm sewing on the skirt. I really hope I didn't screw up. Oh my gosh, what if I put it on wrong? No, I made sure it wasn't wrong. <laughs> Please don't be wrong. Wait, did I, wait, did I do it wrong? I could have sworn, I could have sworn I put right sides together. Why is it that the wrong sides are together? I'm glad I caught this, but I'm also very frustrated right now. I literally was about to sew all of this together. I can't believe, I'm like, I'm so so you should line front with front, like pretty side to pretty side, as one this other YouTuber says. Paper stars, I believe. Stars with an X. Anyway, I like watching her videos. My point is, is that I literally thought that's what I did. And I went through all this effort and now I'm looking at it and I'm like, I put the inside of the skirt face against the outside of the bodice, which means when it unfolds, it'll be the outside of the bodice and the freaking inside of the skirt. <laughs> I have to literally take all the pins out. I already messed up on the gathering string and it like came apart. That was probably an hour of my time that has literally gone to waste. Okay, so I guess I gotta undo it. I literally don't wanna do this. Like, I'm so frustrated. It's supposed to just un- It's supposed to like- Oh, it's so freaking- This is such an amateur freaking mistake. I literally was like, oh, let's make sure I have it on the right way. Like, I must have just brain farted in that moment and saw the outside facing me. I don't know why? Like, okay, we're gonna do it. Okay, I finally got it the right way and now I'm actually going to insert the liner and I'm going to then pin that one on. We have the moment of truth. Okay, so I didn't actually like cut out the zipper here. It's all inside out and we're about to see if I screwed it up or not. I'm like scared. What do we think? Did I screw it up? Did I not screw it up? Do we have a dress? Do we have a dress? Oh, it's not too, oh shoot. Like pretty good, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I'm like the worst with myself. I'm like, I'm the worst ever. So now I'm going to top stitch the beautiful crown looking trim that I wanted to go across the top, just like the black dress. Hope I don't screw it up. 
let's do this. We are going to put it on. So it doesn't have a zipper. I might need to cut down a little further as well, but it doesn't have a zipper obviously. And I also plan on adding straps, but I didn't include them because I literally was so angry at the straps. Also, I'm not even in the frame here, for example. I have two of these little things. I was gonna loop one inside out. I finally get this one to loop and look how horrible it looks, first of all. I'm sure if I ironed it, it might actually salvage it and everything and it might be fine. I could save it, but it irritated me so much. And then this one, I couldn't, I literally just couldn't do it. I do wish for this top that I used thicker zip ties. So it's like really thick bony. So it's a very thin dress to be honest like just very flimsy and stuff but i kind of didn't mind it i guess because i planned on making it with straps so yeah i'm really hoping that this part right here does not flip in so weird and that it lays nicely on the skin we will see so nervous we're just gonna like cut it straight down here these are my methods here oh when you don't know what to do just cut straight down and hope for the best oh gosh I can't even see what I'm cutting. I mean, neither can you, but that should be enough. All right, lady, we're gonna dress you. You've been naked for too long. I don't even know how I'm gonna hem this. I don't even know how to hem this material, but I definitely need to cut it to the right lane. All right, she's on. It's like an extra small and this just form is not the right size, but we're gonna try our best here. How does she look? Hmm. Here's one of the straps here. And that's kind of how it would look. Just imagine the straps looking the same. What do we think? How do we feel? I think I need to put a petticoat under it. That's what I should do. The only thing I'm not really a huge fan of, well, besides that weird difference in whiteness, I don't know. It looked good before I put it on, but um, it's probably because actually now that I think about it, the skirt under it is like straight bright white. Oh well, this is what I'm noticing and I might be able to like, I don't know, sew it in there. I don't know if I could fix that to be honest. Yeah, like that little thing just bothers the crap out of me. There's no going back. Now I don't know how the heck I'm gonna freaking hem this dress cause like, that's a lot of dress. I also have to cut this skirt part, but that is the skirt that I can't really fluff here with one hand. I gotta trim down the this one to match the white because I thought I'd cut it right. Who knows what I did. I'm definitely liking it with a petticoat, but I feel like it could just be pretty. Either way, what do you think? What do you think? All right, it is another day, always another day, and I'm going to be sewing the zipper in. The dress is pretty much nearly done. Um, this time I actually overlocked the edges where the zipper will go. I did mark how long I need it to go down the dress. now <laughs> it's a mess in here now i have it laying on the floor because i need to somehow figure out how to cut the outer skirt layer to be at an even length all the way across so i'm going to cut that so that it's all even and then i'll hem it So I'm kind of mad at myself right now. Also, I just randomly started recording on cinematic mode. Anyway, we'll just leave it. So I'm mad at myself because I don't even know if I should show this, to be honest. She's barely hanging on, guys. Down here, this seam and the sheer material lines up with the side seam. Okay, look at that. Do you see that difference? I cut this. It was too far over, so I was lining it up, and I didn't realize it until it was too late. And I'm so, I'm so mad. But the solution is, instead of making it a wide train, I will cut it down a little bit underneath over here and I'll just shorten it. And then I have to do the same thing to the other side in order to have this sheer material covering everything. Do I want to do that? No, because it was perfect the way it was. I'm also going to sew down these side seams. You won't sleep right now. Sorry, I'm going to safety pin the side seams to the liner side seams so that I make sure it stays in line with it. And then we're just gonna hope for the best. Am I losing faith? A little bit. Am I getting up? No. 
Do I need a hair tie because my hair is getting on my nerves? Yes. There we go. That one's pinned. Let's pin the other side. Okay, pinned. And my hair is getting on my nerves and I also have postpartum hair loss so I'm constantly losing hair. I'm losing all my hair. All right, I need to get back to work. All right, so it was a big mess for sure. I don't think I perfected it at all, but I was able to cut it while it was hanging. I wanted to do it in the first place. I don't know why I didn't. Anyway, so now we're going to hem it. And I have a rolled hem foot on my sewing machine. I am not very good at it. I'm going to be testing it on this scrap material that I have from the dress. <sighs> I'm like so nervous. I always screw up on it and I just feel like it's going to be but we're gonna do it. We're gonna test it first. We're gonna hope for the best. Nothing to it but to do it. That's what my grandpa always says. I sewed on the hook and eye. Now we have the test fabric to test out a rolled hem. And like I said, I'm nervous about this because I feel like I'm gonna suck at it. It's actually hemming pretty well. I mean, considering I haven't messed up yet, so I feel very proud of that. It's rolling. It is literally rolling these hems for me. It's finally done. There it is. I wouldn't say the hemming is the best in the world, especially since I messed up the skirt shape. But you gotta learn it somewhere, right? That's the first time I've ever hemmed a skirt. It doesn't look too bad, to be honest. Let me give you a close-up. It's not the worst thing in the world, right? Like, sometimes it kind of wants to look good. Other times, not so much. Then the under one, not so much. But some of them ended up longer, some of them ended up shorter than they needed to be. But she done. really thrashed. I mean, my hair is horrendous. I'm so glad that this dress is done for the most part. Anyway, I am in love with the dress. I'm just so happy. It is the style and design that I really want to master and I want to be able to make it look much better in every aspect. I think this one definitely is a step up from the black one when it comes to how I sewed it together. Also, I do prefer the way I did the skirt this time, which was cutting out, you know, the circular shape, not just gathering a rectangle, which is fine and very easy, but we had to do it differently because I really wanted it to be more flary. So I hope you enjoy the photo shoot and videos of this dress on its photo shoot. I will be making more videos, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of this behind the scenes of me sewing and all that stuff. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get these videos up. It's December, it's December 8th, so we'll see how long it takes before this video is up. December 8th, 2021, because, you know, it could be like years from now. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wish I could have a much prettier outro, but here I am looking ghetto. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe, like the video if you did, and help sister out with getting my YouTube going. It's been quite the process. Is she pretty back there, isn't she? Anyway, thank you guys for watching and you will see me in the next video. Bye!